F E A R fear you see fear is critical to our survival it keeps us protected from legitimate threats and and danger if we only had life threatening fears yeah would be a very different society instead we have additional <laughs> irrational fears that are based on trauma bad experiences uh, or or those all too often you know handed down fears from um, ill-advised relatives um, looking at your fears I want you to take a quick inventory in your head of what you're afraid of what are you afraid of some afraid of heights heights is usually at the top of the list right <laughs> I'm afraid of heights too top of the list and 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 legitimate fear although some go to extreme but there is a danger element in falling what else makes your list? Um, wild animals, um, spiders, my kids, um, rejection, um, pain, flying for some, swimming, it's really for people of my color, public speaking, um, relationships, um, people, um, the color blue, so people, whatever it is anyway. Fears are thoughts that we create and based on experiences, it's either that we have had on experiences that we've either had or others have had and they have imprinted onto our minds, right? These fears are created, they are perpetrated and they are held in our minds. Sometimes even becoming too intense that we, we even develop anxieties and find our fears crippling our progress. You see, by giving in and accepting our fears, we cannot move forward. We cannot grow. We, we are stopped in our tracks. For example, um, fear of failure is common in varying degrees, right? It keeps people from progressing on in their careers, in relationships, in commitments. You know, people who exhibit this fear, they tend to um, stay in dead-end jobs. Um, they stay in bad marriages. They... Um, take whatever life's hands down to them, you know, whatever hands that's dealt to them. They're constantly accepting life as it is and, and not daring to risk or, or not daring to fail. Or, so why bother? You know, why try? How about fear of rejection? You know, I'm not good enough anyway. Um, I can't do that job. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the right credentials and, or experience. Um, they're going to pick someone else like me. They don't like people like me anyway. You know, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. We all know someone like this. And, and maybe it's us. And maybe you and I, maybe we need a little push, a little um, self-confidence, a realization that the fear that we carry with us is made up. The fear we carry is made up. It's made up. It's made up. So, if it's made, made up, maybe we need a little push, a little self-confidence, uh, a realization that the fear we carry with us is made up. You know, that, that, uh, and and we, we can change our thinking. And that's what I wanted to share today. We can change our thinking. We can begin to change our thinking just by a little bit of confidence and and let go of whatever trauma that we hold you know the traumas that we're holding on to that makes the fear so real so tangible so, such that part of our lives um, that we've accepted for so long um, that it just is sometimes we need help from others um, to help us walk through these fears. Sometimes we need a trust and mentor, you need a coach, you need a counselor um, to show us the way, um, to gently guide us in our journey and, and, and help us break free from these fear chains that we have grown to love so much. I want to help you. Hey, click on any of the links. Um, whatever fears you are working with, I want to get inside with you, help you walk through these this fears. Um, it's Aaron. Be well. Speak soon. Thank you.